Hey YouTube, it's Collect Station. Today I'm going to do a bit, bit of a different video and show you uh, the... Uh, I've got some um, Mario Kart 64 figures here and I thought I'd show them to you because I think they're really cool. And um, also every time I've uh, like tried to look for videos on these guys, um, they're always kind of poor quality and um, you know not really worth watching. And um, I found one video on there that was really good and when I tried to find it again, um, it was private, so I couldn't see it. So hopefully, I'll be uh, one of the best videos on there to show you these uh, Mario Kart 64 figures. Uh, I've got the entire first series to show you. I'm missing out on the, the second series, but I really hope to get those. So, just gonna show you, show you uh, the toys, not the figures. So as you can see um, down here, where is it? Uh, Toy Biz. They used to do um, a series called uh, Video Game Superstars. And they had uh, figurines of like really popular games for the uh, pretty much just the Nintendo 64, I think. Um, there was Mario Kart 64, uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time, Diddy Kong Racing, and um, I saw a Tomb Raider one there. Um, I'm not sure if there are any more, but uh, I know they were they were four that were released. So I'll just show you the the box, what they look like. So as you can see, this one is Mario, and it comes with a green turtle shell. And what you do is you put the shell in that little hole there, and pull the car back, preferably on a hard surface like uh, floorboards or uh, tiles. Um, doesn't work very well on carpet, I used to have some of these, and um, they worked, but not very well. And um, yeah, you put Mario in the car there, you can strap him in with the seatbelt, and yeah, that's pretty much all it did. These were actually really, really fun toys to use uh, back then. I'll show you the back. I'll pause for a second just so you can read that. Just maybe pause the video so it doesn't go for very long. And there's the uh, instructions on how to use it. There's a good shot of that. And then it's, uh, which ones to collect? Uh, I've got Bowser and Yoshi, and they, these are the ones I also have to show you guys. Official Nintendo license. Like, these toys are absolutely fantastic quality. Like, you don't see toys like this anymore. Like, the detail on them are just brilliant. Um, probably the best one to, just, to uh, show you the detail is Bowser, which I'll show you in a minute. And they're just fantastic. Go to a different one now. Got Yoshi here. And just the same box, pretty much. Yoshi comes with the green car. And banana peels. Actually, back when I was about five or something, I went to my friend's house and... Um, I sw uh, on the uh, you know the uh, tall wooden and kind of uh, bookshelf thing. Uh, I swear there was one of these, a Yoshi one, sitting on the top, and uh, Yoshi was in it. And I swear it had a green egg projectile. Like not that's why I was really surprised when I found it came with banana peels because I swear it came with an egg. And yeah, I've never been able to find a picture of one or anything like that. It could could have been a different toy, but. I'm almost certain it was one of these ones. And I always wanted it, and I could never find it.
So these ones are the banana peels go in the back there. You see the hole there. And I forgot to mention this actually. When you pull the car back and it goes, uh, when it's driving, uh, it shoots out the projectile. So when this car's going, it'll shoot out the banana peels from the back. And uh, just a quick thing here. See Yoshi's arms? They're kind of connected at the elbow. The hands, I mean. Um, Yoshi is actually a really fragile toy. I never had one as a kid, but um, every time I've seen a video of uh, these figures, um, the hands are always missing, and it's really sad to see, actually. So it looks like um, you might not be able to see it on here, but it looks like if you're going to take it out of the box, that the arms would kind of fall off right away, and that's kind of a downfall. Um, I reckon they should have just left Yoshi's arms full like they did with Mario. But, um... Yeah, it's still a fantastic toy. Great detail. I'll show you the back now. See, you can see it's got the uh, picture from the the uh, 64 game. Let you read that. Sorry about the uh, shaky hands there. It's kind of awkward to hold because I'm in a really awkward position. Instructions on how to use it, and once again, collect all thing, and the Nintendo seal. I got all these off eBay, and um, I got really good deals on them as well. Like, um, you can see you see these going on eBay for like about $100 each, uh, but I got mine for $15 each, and um, yeah, they're just absolutely brilliant. I'm hoping to get uh, Wario, Donkey Kong, Luigi, and Ghost Mario. I used to have Ghost Mario... Actually, I used to have the entire second series, which is everything I just listed when I was a kid, but um, stupidly, I gave them away for free um, to my brother's friend, and I really regret doing that. I don't even know why I said, yes, you can have them, which is a really stupid thing to say. But yeah, as you can see, the detail on this, if it will focus, the detail is just brilliant. You know, all of his scales... Um, just fantastic, his hands, the spiny shells, they're great too. Just everything about Bowser is just fantastic. All of these toys are brilliant. And um, actually, when I was a kid, I actually saw one of these in a shop. And um, I went to go get Mum because I thought it was really, really neat. And when I came back, it was gone. And she and my brother didn't believe me that a Bowser toy actually existed. So, when I found a picture of it, I was really stoked. <laughs> and, in fact, when I bought one, I saw this on eBay. This was the first one I got. And $15, it was an auction. And I uh, did that thing where you're like, oh, can I buy it now? And they said, yes, $15. And I said, sold. You know, <laughs> That's all I needed to know. Um, you might notice that the box uh, has some, some kind of uh, fold damage and that kind of stuff. The others are actually in better condition because when I got this, I was kind of disappointed about the condition, but um, I emailed her and said, um, for $12 postage, you really need to start putting these in boxes. And she said, okay, I'm sorry, I can refund it if you want. I wasn't really interested. But uh, next time I bought items off her, they were shipped fantastically and I have absolutely no complaints. Nintendo seal again, toy beers. That's fantastic. <laughs> Don't do that again, Jake. And yeah, that is the uh, Mario Kart 64 figures that I do have. These are actually, oh, I can't say this enough, it's a brilliant, brilliant line that they released. I used to have a um, uh, Ocarina of Time Link and a Pona. I still have a Pona somewhere, but I don't know where Link is. Um, really sad that I lost him. I was I'm gonna buy. I'll just show you these quickly again. I was gonna buy um, Impa in Impa and Zelda and the horse together in a some um, auction, but uh, went for. I just got outbid at the last minute and I was really no. It only went for thirty dollars and it's going on eBay for about a hundred and fifty. So that was a shame. Just get the last one here. And we're just going over 10 minutes now. So 
So thank you guys for watching. Sorry that it's not uh, anything card related, but um, I just wanted to make this video. And uh, if you're impressed with the quality, uh, please like and favorite it because I would like to, um, you know, get others to see it because um, when I first saw a video of them, I was absolutely amazed and it made me want to get them again. And hopefully if that happens to someone else, you know, it's just one of the best feelings in the world. So if you could just let someone know about them, then it'd be really cool. But if not, don't worry. It's your life. Do whatever you want. And this video has already gone for long enough, so I'll leave it there. And thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.